Well, <coughs> welcome to Africa Social TV. Dennis, the business is my name. Now, getting back to the buying and the moral of this aspect of the BET Awards 2018, we are talking the internationally. Um, recognized talent uh, in uh, sports, it could be TV, and we are talking the 18th edition of the BT Awards 2018 this time round, and uh, for the facts that are released between April 1st, 2017 and March 31st, 2018 are the ones that will be recognized for this year's 2018 BET. Now, going straight to the point, do you recall the days where African talent was not recognized inside the auditorium of the BET awards and those awards were given on just the red carpet outside now there are certain uh, African acts like Wizkid, Fuse, ODG who came up and complained about this and they did not only complain but they boycotted the awards this time round the fact is that the good news is each African talent that has been recognized that has been recognized this time round will be given the award inside the auditorium so they will get to share the awards with the big names in this music industry now one may wonder why were these guys or the organizers not really doing the right thing what's the what's the tale of uh oh what's the importance of uh recognizing talent but you organize it outside the auditorium it's like you're trying to say uh these guys are not as talented as oh they can never be as talented as the likes of rick cross Nicki minaj Kanye west uh, jay-z and all that kind of stuff you know what this is the real evidence that africa is the next big thing now guess what this year's BET, uh, bet 2018 awards is taking place uh on sunday but i know we shall get it recorded on uh on around Tuesday. Now, I'm gonna give you five things to expect for this year's BET Awards. Firstly, we are talking, we are talking uh, the award, uh, all who will be hosting these awards, first of all. Let's look at uh, uh, the host of the awards, obviously. Now, these awards cannot go on without a very talented host like Jeremy Fox. Jamie Fox is a singer, songwriter, uh, award-winning actor. I mean, is everything 360 talk about talent and will be hosting this year's awards. Now, uh, they say you're all invited to the Black Family Reunion and uh, obviously it will be Sunday at 24th uh, this June. That is, uh, it will hit up obviously uh, uh, other channels afterwards. Now, let's talk about our talent here in Africa. Firstly, what do you expect? This actor, or oh, uh, the actor, musician, comedian, will be making a return to the BET stage. As remember, he was previously on the BET uh, stage back in 2009. Now, it was held, uh, you remember the days uh, Mike Jackson died? Mike Jackson died, and uh, it saw Jimmy Fox paying a touch tribute to the pop legend that remains one of the highlights in the history of all time right uh when it comes to bet now let's talk about the major performances here obviously since i'm talking african uh there's some talents that uh you you will not obviously you will not miss out here so we are talking who will be performing we have the likes of Nicki Minaj, Mick Mill, and many more. Now, for this year's edition, parades a rich list of performers that could see as much as 15 artists make or take onto the BET stage. It's it's bigger, better, as you know. When Nick, uh, when uh, the likes of Nicki Minaj hit the stage, obviously they light it up. They have their own, uh, their own designed kind of stuff. Now, the other people that will be performing, there will be YG, there will be Big Sean, there will be Miguel, there will be Migos, there will be Two Chains, there will be J Rock, there will be HER, and many more. Now, let's get to our talent here in Africa. Who is representing us? Who is bringing back the accolades home? Let's look at the categories of like best international act, uh, which will be presented on stage. Now, for the first time uh, since the inception of uh, BET Awards, the winner of the best international actor category will receive the award on the main stage. I mean, on the main stage, as in the past, uh, the subject of controversy, obviously, especially for the African artists, as recognized, oh, was usually not announced in the main event with the winner presented with a plaque backstage and this annoyed 
artists like Reggae Roxton, uh, that was a Ghanaian hip life legends. Uh, obviously, I told you the likes of Fuse ODG boycotted. Uh, that is an artist, an African artist, best in the UK. Uh, that was back in 2015. Then 2017, we saw Starboy Whiskey also boycotting BET, and uh, he looked down on. They said it was uh, that the, these guys were looking down on Africa. Now the organizers this time seem to have got uh, obviously the the real meaning of recognizing African talent. As you can see, we have the likes of Tiwas, Tommy's. Now I'm going to read you the whole category here uh, of who will be uh, some of the artists that will be representing uh, Africa. Uh, that is Niola, there is Kwese, uh, Kwese Arthur right there from Ghana. Now let's get to the vine still. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the likes of, uh, let me get Niniola back here. Niniola, Niniola's back, the first BET nomination as she has been named in the Viewers' Chase Best New International Act category. Now, let's look at uh, uh, the guys in, uh, in this category that is very, 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 very tangible and very competitive. Now, Best International Act nominees, uh, obviously, these are uh, guys uh, from France. The guys from uh, the guys from uh, UK, the guys from uh, yeah, UK has about three nominations. We like to step on Dom's Tommy's, uh, who is in the UK right there. Uh, there is uh, Niska from France. There is Jehas UK. Let's talk Africa now. As you can see, Africa there we have Casper Novest in the Best International Act as a nominee representing South Africa. We have Davido, Davido. Um, Davido, uh, obviously, uh, from Nigeria. We have Distraction Boys from South Africa. We have uh, Fali Pupa from uh, DR Congo. Then we have uh, the lady, she was savage herself here. She was savage, uh, obviously, representing Nigeria. Now, uh, the other thing that you should expect for the likes who, uh, for the likes of people who love that old school kind of music, we have the likes of Anita Becker who receive uh, the Lifetime Achievement Award that is also known. Now, uh, they say at the BET hashtag right here on Twitter, they say, our 2018 Lifetime Achievement Award recipient is uh, Anita Becker. So they say, help us to celebrate uh, her life. Uh, then the legendary uh, Anita Becker is an RB singer. If you remember the likes of... Uh, those particular gems that opened up uh, R&B, R&B family. So uh, Anita Baker tweeted and said, okay, it settled, it will be lovely to simply sit and accept this beautiful gift and honor from my family. Uh, that is uh, at BET, hashtag, uh, she won't be performing. Now, the other thing about these awards, remember uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in the US, there are a lot of activists and are so recognized uh, to putting some pressure Onto the political, uh, onto political scene. Now they say that uh, they will be recognizing the activists and uh, heroes, and the likes of James Shaw Jr., Anthony Bugs, and Naomi Wadler. Then at Sean King, there is uh, there is Justin Blackman, who have done such heroic and uh, painstaking work to make some changes. So in addition to that, be it will also honor activists and uh, heroes. Now. Uh, Waffle Hero, House Hero, that is James Shaw uh, Jr., then Parkland Shooting Survivor Anthony Boggs, an anti gun violence activist, 11 year old Naomi Wadler, and 16 year old. Obviously, all the soldiers ones will represent into this year's BET Awards. Now, one may wonder what is the, the difference uh, between the other BET uh, award ceremonies that have been taking place and the 2018 BET here. Now, one thing for sure is one African talent is recognized more and more at this time around the Plex or the awards will be received onto the main stage. That is very, very lovely. So I, for one, as the guy who loves entertainment, I would love to thank the BET organizers and uh, for recognizing African talent, then to hearing of that voice that, you know, that was hurting the African talent. You know, it is very, very, very absurd when you are nominated and, uh, you get your award just outside, outside the, I mean, the auditorium. And why, 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 why couldn't I get my award onto the main stage? What difference does it make? I wonder if BET can really explain that. Then the other thing that I've recognized for this year's BET Awards 2018 is that they have put much focus on the activists and heroes. One thing for sure, activists do, do play a very big role when it comes to 
certain uh, things uh, or issues that are hurting Africans or uh, the everyday person. You understand? What activists do, they'll put up their plaques, they will suffer the violence from uh, the police. But this time around, BET, that is the Black Entertainment Awards, is recognizing these likes of people because uh, things like gun violence are very, 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 very crucial. They're very, I mean, these are characters that take over the days in some states in America. And uh, I, I think this time around, this trade that has been done by the organizers of BET is a very good one. And uh, we pray it makes a difference also because there's a way it affects the economy and also the inter entertainment as uh, one rapper that is XXL, uh, XXL was, was uh, one rapper was uh, gunned down, you understand? So when they put up these facts and issues and they're recognized by BET, which is very big platform to the African Americans and the world over, maybe the message will be sent out there. Now click subscribe as we wait for who will bring back the awards back home to Africa. My name is Dennis The Business. Keep it Africa Social TV as you give it a thumbs up and leave your comments in the comment section. Who do you think will win the best international act uh, category because it is very competitive. Peace for now and I'm out. I'll be right back in a jiffy.